Going out of Africa, Arsenal won, Man City nil. And I'm here with Mark Jackson. <laughs> man, like, how you how you feeling? How you feeling, man? Like, how you feeling? I, I feel I feel awesome. Very, very, very awesome. Man. Finally. Finally. Finally, we have broken this this barrier. Eh? Six seasons in a row, not even one draw. Every season, you home and away. Every season, you home and away. Every season. Finally. This is a very, very, this is a very, very good win. I'm, I'm pleased, pleased with the entire team. Wonderful performance. Wonderful results. A win, one new to the Arsenal. One new to the Arsenal. Feels like, feels like three new to the Arsenal. <laughs> Actually, man, feels like, <laughs> it feels like eight new to the Arsenal, but it's one new to the Arsenal. I'm very, 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 very pleased with this result. We got a clean sheet. We won. We did almost everything right. In fact, if this game was to go some other way, we would have still even won by, say, 2 3 new. Because for me, there were some big calls in the match. But I'm very happy that uh, we came up with the win. Talking about big calls, Kovacic, first tackle on Odegaard, and then second tackle on Declan Rice. Uh, what even brought about the second tackle was the fact that he did not see red for the first tackle. For me, that's a red card. Not because I'm an Arsenal fan, but judging from how the, 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 the tackle was, was made, he came from behind. He came from behind. His stores were up. He did not make contact with the ball. He was rash. I assure you that if Michael Oliver had taken his time to go to that monitor to check, he would have given him a red card. Maybe he was convinced, you understand, that with the instincts of a ref, that um, of, a, of a big ref that he is, that that was not a red card. But if he had gone to that monitor, straight red, bad tackle from a very bad position, reckless tackle. Then if he, if he did not even see red for that tackle, the second one was enough to show this ref that this guy had been reckless from the beginning of the game. A very bad tackle. The second one was bad. Second yellow. But what can we do? I assure you if that tackle was made by a national player, we would have seen red. But thank God that uh, at the end of the day, we cannot complain that we lost the match or we drew the match because they did not see red. We won the match regardless of the fact that the, we are supposed to see red. And they didn't see red. So looking at the fact that the first half was actually a little bit frantic, it was... It was a slow start. We had a slow start, and then we grew into the game. Uh, I think I think uh, we approached the game the same way we approached the game in the community shield. The game. Actually, we approached the game like a cup game. Yes, <laughs> we approached the game like a cup game. We we started off slow, calmed down. I think a couple of players were were shaky. Like Raya, Raya was. I think Raya was scared. I know he has played this this team before, but. You know, playing against uh, Man City when you're playing with Brentford and playing against Man City when you're playing for Arsenal is different because against Brentford, you can you can go into the match expecting to be beaten at least by one nil or to get at, at most a draw. If you get a win for Brentford, it is a very huge result. But when you are playing for Arsenal in a game like this, after so many years of not winning, you go into this game expecting to win the match or at least get a draw. And he did not start the game where he was a bit shaky, sent the ball to, to very bad locations where there were no Arsenal players, but you grew into the game. The whole team grew into the game. The mistake, the mistake he made and then it cost us a goal. Yeah, when yeah. Alvarez closed down yeah. on him. Yeah, yeah. That mistake, that mistake, I don't know. Those are, those are things that we cry out for we, we shout at Ramsey for because he does them once in a while. I, for me, I feel if Fryer continues like this, Ateta sends him back to the bench, brings in Ramsey. Because we know why he dropped Ramsey. Not just because of his distribution. Ramsdale's distribution is, is, is okay. You understand? He's, he's, he's a good keeper. He can save very, very good balls like Raya. The only issue, the only area where Raya is better than Ramsey is his composure. 
Raya is very composed, he's very calm, but today he was not composed at all. He he was shaky, but he grew into the game. You're looking at the fact that let's move away from the first half and go into the second half. The introduction of Gabriel Martinelli. Wonderful introduction. Second half started very, very well. We started the second half on the front foot and we went for Man City. I think the idea from the beginning of the second half was to get that first goal, then do what we normally do, which was to sit. But they did not get it. They played very well. The first 10, 15 minutes of the second half started very well for us. And overall, it was a very good introduction. I think that change was not expected by Pep. Not expected. Even by you. Yeah, by me. I did not expect by me too. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect to see that that change. But kudos to Ateta. I think he did some very, very nice uh, substitutions today. I think no Arsenal fan can complain of the subs today. The subs, the, all the subs were on point. In fact, when I saw those three players that were coming in, and I calculated the people that were supposed to remove, he removed the right persons. I think we we we, we football fans, we are we are we are not coaches, but we watch the game. And to an extent, we know the kind of substitutions that are needed in some matches. And for this match, he made the right subs. Kudos to Ateta for the subs. So before I ask you who your man of the match is, let's talk about you know going moving ahead in this season. What do you think this win would do to this team, this set of players? This this win, this win is 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 like the main thing, the missing ingredient that we have been looking for. We are Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal are back. We are back. The truth is, we are back. If we came back, we did not come back this season. We came back last season. From the beginning of last season, that was when we came. So we are back, back. We are back. Back, back. This win Double back. <laughs> is to show that uh, since Mikel Ateta came, he has beaten every team he has played against, except for Man City. And today he got that win. That, that most really needed win, he got it. And going from here, if you can beat Man City, we can beat. We, we, we have beaten every team that we have played normally. I think it's going to take a while for us to lose. The people that I expect us to drop points again, against, not actually lose, is against Liverpool. Liverpool are a very good side. So this win, this win is going to, is going to leave the spirit of the players, the coach, everybody in the team. I expect I expect a good run of games. Our next match is against uh, against Chelsea, and it it is going to be a tough match. It's not going to be a walkover. Chelsea are they're not as the way before. Last season we beat them home and away. This season might not be like that. We are going to Stamford Bridge, and they are they're trying to gather. They're going to try to gain momentum. They just won back to back matches in the Premier League, so it's not going to be an easy game. But I don't expect to go to the Stamford Bridge and lose. That's like. The best away ground of Arsenal against any big team in the Premier League in recent times. We have won, we have collected more points at Stamford Bridge and any other than, than at any other stadium. So home home away from home. <laughs> home away from home. It's like a home away from home. home. So at, at at best they should get a draw. At most, at least we should get a win. Okay, so who was or who, who was your man of the match? Who impressed you the most today? A man of the match. A man of the match. I'm going to mention this person because when the lineup came up, I was expecting to see Saka because we saw various reports that Saka is fit to face Man City and everything. Now, when the lineup came out, we saw Gabriel Jesus playing that position and he did it very, very well. Probably Saka would have gotten an assist or a goal. You understand? With Vardy or playing that position, but Gabriel Jesus played excellently well today. He did. He caused havoc there. He was supposed to get a pen for me. That's a penalty. That foul against Gabriel Jesus of uh, by Ake, clear. Pen he made contact. You, you can call it um, a, a a a a very soft tackle, but we have seen it in the Premier League a lot of times. He made contact with Gabriel Jesus. He did not touch the ball. So penalty for me. So, um, but that's by the way, Gabriel Jesus played a very good game. Declan Rice, Declan Rice, without Rodri in Man City's team, Declan Rice showed why we spent 100 million to sign him. Declan Rice, Martin Odegaard, William Saliba, my four players for Man of the Match. And uh, if I 
Forget this one. Happy birthday to Ben White. A very good uh, win by Arsenal to celebrate. A very um, consistent performer for Arsenal. Very, very good win for happy birthday, Ben White.